Well, hello there, and thanks for watching. My name is Scott Duffy, and this video is on the latest exam tips for the Microsoft 70-532 exam. This video has been updated for May of 2018. These exam tips have been taken from my Azure students, as well as members of the Azure user group on Facebook. So go ahead and use the link that's in the description, or you can type it into Facebook for Azure user group. If you find this video helpful, I welcome you to subscribe to this channel and you'll get more videos like this every week in the future. One student took the exam and came back and said there were many questions on Azure Service Fabric as well as containers. Another student mentioned containers as well with Kubernetes, YAML, OpenShift, Cloud Foundry, and third-party platform as a service. You'll notice that these topics are the most recent topics added to the exam. Now, the exam has been changed again in March of 2018, but the exam was changed in January, and a lot of these topics were added to the exam syllabus in January. Another student mentions there was a number of questions using C Sharp as a programming language to interact with the Microsoft Azure environment, while he also mentioned you have to understand coding workflow, and I'll get into that in a second. Finally, it's for the last few months you've been having to know PowerShell and command line CLI for interacting with Microsoft Azure resources using the command line. So to summarize this video, this exam over the past year has become a lot more developer focused. If you are a working developer and you interact with Microsoft Azure every day using code, using the command line, then you might find a lot of these topics much more comfortable. If you don't actually interact with Microsoft Azure using the command line, if you only ever use the portal, then you might find this a bit challenging. It also has seems to be tilting more towards the more modern ways of development using the cloud. So app services, service fabric and containers are much more common questions than things such as virtual machines and virtual networks. So understanding the software as a service, platform as a service, uh, types of models is going to be key to the, this exam in the future. When you are a working developer working with Microsoft Azure, there are certain commands that you use all the time. When you're establishing a blob, you're establishing a connection to a storage account, you're using certain C Sharp commands at the Azure SDK level uh, in PowerShell. When you're creating new resources or modifying resources, you're using certain commands. Microsoft has established naming conventions and they do a pretty good job of following them. There's a, exceptions from time to time, but I can look at a, a Azure SDK a PowerShell command for Azure and based on its name you get a pretty good idea of what it does. So they follow a certain logical order for naming these scripts. And finally, talking about coding workflows, when you are in interacting with Microsoft Azure using code, it oftentimes takes several commands in a row in order to get something done. So for example, to create a virtual machine, it's not just one line of code in PowerShell to create a virtual machine. You're actually going through eight or nine lines of code in order to, to generate what's required for a virtual machine. You should be familiar with those scripts. You should be familiar with the order of operations before you can create the virtual machine. You have to create the resource group. You have to create the Azure disk. You have to get the Azure image, etc. Then Then you get into creating the virtual machine. So if something does require multiple steps, you should study that and then have an idea in your mind of what the order of the steps are in. Microsoft is famous for not relying so much on multiple choice answers as drag and drop answers. Things have to be in a certain order. So those types of questions are ripe for uh, when you've got things that require multiple steps. Anyways, thanks so much for watching this. I hope it was a little bit helpful. If you are interested in talking about Microsoft Azure generically, I welcome you into the Microsoft Azure unofficial user group on Facebook. We also talk about exam topics if you want to hear the latest tips or you want to provide tips. But welcome to this group. I would love to have you there. And if you find this video interesting and you want to learn more, hit subscribe on YouTube and we would YouTube will notify you the next time that there are videos available and or check out other videos on this channel that might be relating to Microsoft Azure or topics that you're interested in. I want to thank you again for watching and have a wonderful day.